you know, I know you don't want to hear this, right? This is me talking to you. You. And I really want to say something. Because there's nobody that's going to give you this guidance but yourself, right? You yourself, not me, okay, not Conquer, David Cool. You forgot who the fuck you were. That's your problem. Not this fabricated rap style that you think that you're going to be some famous star. Conquer, can I give you the fucking, the lowdown? Can I tell you what really is happening? Drugs have taken everything from you. It has taken your youth. It has taken your life. It's taken great people out of your fucking life. You used to have great friends that cared about you. Now look at you. You just got fired from Home Depot. It gets better. You're fucking unemployed. <laughs> that's, that's, that's fun. You fucking have no money saved. Well, barely. You got a little bit, but it's, it's, it's not going to last. Right? All those people that you were friends with when you went to school or even you growing up, almost every fucking one of them all have families and kids and houses almost paid off for and college degrees. You thought that being a rapper was going to be the answer to everything because you thought that selling your soul to the devil was going to be the answer, that it was just going to come easy to you. I know this is something that you wanted for 22, almost 23 years. You've dedicated your fucking life for entertaining the other people that don't give a shit about you, that have a cheap laugh and then they, they, they forget who you are. The truth of the matter is... You need to focus on yourself. Yeah. You focus on yourself. And I know you don't, you don't know what that means. I know you don't. You still, after 34 years, still have no idea what the fuck that means. But you focus on yourself. Fuck what other people think, dude. Because other people have learned this years ago. I guess it takes a while for you to learn things because of the drugs that have fucked you. I mean, do me a spot. Do me a solid. Squint your eyes for a second. I'm dead serious. Squint your eyes. Go ahead. That, that, that. Keep it there. Remember when you used to laugh and that wasn't there? <laughs> drugs have done that to you. Drugs have fucked you. Drugs have taken everything from you, man. You're not going to be a rapper. I'm sorry. It, it, it's not going to happen for you, man. Maybe you will become a little locally famous, but as, as far as anything else, you're not going to be Eminem. You're not even going to be that little fucking faggot little Zan. <laughs> you're not going to be anything. It, it's, I hate to say it to you, because I know it's going to fucking hurt your feelings and break your heart. But you need to hear this because nobody else is going to tell you this. You're too fucking old. It's over. Nothing is going to happen. You can finish the song that you're writing. Maybe you can just do it for yourself. But as far as you promoting and doing anything, you don't have the tools, man. You just, it's just, you weren't born in the right place at the right time. I'm sorry. It's just, you're just not it. I know that you think that everything was just going to come and it was going to be so easy. It doesn't work like that, man. You got to remember something, dude. You're from fucking Florida. And whether you know it or not, everybody in their fucking minds want to be famous for something. Whether it be cooking, whether it be a fucking uh, reality star, or a 
dancer, whatever the fuck. A meme king, queen, whatever. Somebody wants to be famous for something. Somebody. Because people love attention, right? Not just you. I know you got a little taste of it back in five years ago from Roxy's. You remember that place? I know you do. I know you got a little taste of it. People were... You were the talk of the place. You were the talk of the town. You wrote a song about half the fucking people in the town. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. You fucking did it, kid. That was fucking great. But that was a long time ago. That doesn't happen anymore. It's over. I know it hurts, dude. I know it hurts, okay? I know. We know. It's just not gonna happen for you, okay? It's over. You live in a delusional, fabricated mindset, but you, the, the truth of the reality is it's just, it's not there for you. Nobody gives a shit anymore. Your friends have families now. You're not 21, 22 years old anymore, man. You got to forget. You forget that you're 34 years old. You should be having a wife and kids now. Brittany and Kyle. Brittany and fucking Kyle. How about that? Look at Kyle. A fucking beautiful wife. A beautiful child. He was what? Four or five years younger than you, right? You guys grew up together. You were best friends. Until you moved away, which wasn't your fault. And, you know, things just kind of, things changed. But, I mean, that should have been you too. You should have had that. But you wasted your life on fucking drugs. And it made you a fucking badass, okay? I'll admit it. You're nothing to be fucked with right now. I know you're not scared of anybody. I know this. And I'm not just trying to talk you up. I'm not trying to butter you, okay? You really are a fucking badass. You really will hurt somebody. You really do know how to hurt people. You used to do it back home, didn't you? How about the guy you stabbed? Huh? How about the guy you pulled a gun on? Yeah, go ahead. Fuck it. Yeah. How about the people that you sold fentanyl to and then when they fucking passed out on the ground, you fucking walked over them and said, if you die, you die. Uh, give me that money. Yeah, you think you forgot about that, didn't you? You thought that moving here in Palm Harbor was going to change your fucking life, huh? And it did for the better. You are no longer that fucking person anymore. That fucking drug addict that should have been dead. Or in jail. You had a second fucking chance. Tiffany was fucking right about you. You should have been dead a million times fucking over and over and over. You should have been long dead. You should have been dead 10, 11 years ago. <laughs> but you're fucking still here, aren't you? You survived two fucking heart attacks, didn't you? And three ODs, didn't you? You fucking survived someone holding a knife to your fucking uh, neck and a gun to your fucking chest, didn't you? Yeah, you thought I forgot about that shit. That shit really went fucking down, didn't it? It's over for you, dude. As soon as you figure that out, the better life you'll live. And until you realize that, that you have to focus on yourself. But until you learn what that truly, truly, truly means, you're never going to advance and get ahead in life. You're going to be the same person not knowing your self-worth. And I know, right? Right? 
I know. I, I know. <laughs>